Was it an accident or murder? The family of Shannon Gilbert speaks out in a new controversy involving the Gilgo Beach serial killings. Good evening. I'm Jessica Moore. And welcome back. I'm Maurice Dubois. Gilbert's disappearance along Long Island South Shore in 2010 led to the discovery of 10 bodies along Ocean Parkway. And tonight, her sister tells CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan recently released 911 calls prove Shannon's death was no accident. Her family's reacting to the release of the chaotic 911 calls from Shannon Gilbert the night she went missing in Oak Beach more than 11 years ago. It doesn't matter if people think that she's a victim of the Long Island serial killer or not. Something happened to her that night. She ran for her life. She was in fear. Shannon's sister, Cherie, believes Suffolk police botched the case that her death was not accidental and disputes accounts of her mental health. This reported illness and substance abuse at times manifested itself in episodes of confusion, getting lost, violent outbursts, and irrational behavior. Gilbert is heard running away from her Craigslist client and her limo driver, seeming confused and disoriented while repeating her life was in danger. The family says if not for Shannon's cries for help, the bodies of Gilgo Beach victims would never have been found, launching one of the nation's most notorious serial killer cases. The Gilberts hired a private pathologist. That autopsy revealed Shannon died of asphyxiation, strangulation, consistent, says Shannon's sister, with the four girls who died here at Gilgo. The Gilbert family attorney wants current homicide detectives off Shannon's case in an independent investigation by the state attorney general. We want fresh eyes to look at the entire investigation that took place. Something's really wrong with the way the police handled this. Somebody found her and took her, potentially gave her something to maybe calm her down, and she accidentally died. And then they took her body. This is my theory. Um, through the roadside. Shannon's death was ruled accidental, but 10 unsolved homicide cases remain up and down Ocean Parkway going back decades. I'm Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. And Suffolk police are offering a $50,000 reward for information that leads them to the Gilgo Beach killer or killers.